What's up? You got your boy Direct, aka Native Shades, reminding you to like and subscribe. Cause today we're gonna be talking about the NPC made. <laughs> what had happened was the NPC made. Now the NPC made came out around 2009. And I don't know if you guys remember, but 2009 was a crazy year for Dawes. <laughs> you know, Machine just dropped. Um, Ableton Live was, was running crazy. Pro Tools was still the industry standard. And the MPC made application came out. The Dawes were killing hardware, period. Guys was like, listen, Machine is beating MP whatever now, 4,000, uh, 2,500, you name it. Pro Tools is like the industry standard. There were people out there that felt like I get everything I need with this door. I do not need hardware anymore. You know what I'm saying? I'm 10 times faster on this door. Hardware for me is obsolete. <laughs> this is how some people felt around 2009 when dealing with DAWs and stuff like that. So which great Surreal Martraire, the developer and former DJ made the MPC made. Now it was modeled after the MPC 187 program, which was for uh, Mac computers, which basically was the same thing. It was basically an editor for your MPC, 500, 1000, 2500. All the editing features that would take time on your MPC, you could do it on this application and just load it up to your MPC via USB or through a flash card or something like that. So it was really convenient for MPC users. No longer was the MPC guy last in the race. If there was a race between someone on Ableton Live versus someone on an MPC, the Ableton Live guy would be already sequencing his beat and everything. And when, when you look over at the MPC guy, he, he's still trying to name the program. The guys would be like, hey, listen, you've been here for 16 minutes already. You're still trying to name the program MPC guy? Just name it Loss, because that's what's about to happen to you. <laughs> now, you got to remember, this was a time when you were trying to get all the information you could about your MPC. And even reading the manual really didn't prepare you for what you needed to know. You know what I'm saying? Like you would buy the MPC, you know, you're at Sam Ash and you're buying these MPCs and you're, you're asking the, the sales guy, hey, hey bro, um, what's a sequence? And he's like, hey man, don't worry about it, man. Go to the forums, they'll help you out. <laughs> so you're going to these MPC forums, not realizing that this, the forums, the MPC forums is gladiator school. You know what I'm saying? You come in here if you want to get destroyed. You know, so you're coming in here and you're like, uh, hey, fellas, um, yeah, I'm kind of new here. Uh, what's the sequence? And they're like, hey, who's sexy new NPC owner 68? What, what's this idiot asking us uh, what's the sequence? And, and you're like, yeah, guys, um, I, I just want to know what a sequence is. They're like, did you read the manual? And you're like, no, they're like, why don't you read the manual, a-hole, and then ask what a sequence is. And you're like, oh, but and they're like, a sequence is what I did to your mom last night. Yeah, I had a couple sequences with her. It was real good. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, what the heck? And then another guy comes in. Yeah, man. And then after they were done, I then started to have a sequence with your mom. I banged on her pads, I looped her, time stretched her, did all of that, and even recorded it. You want to see? <laughs> and, and the guy's like, hey, man, wh why are they treating me like this? And then you, you log off and then you're going and you're, you're, you're checking out the manual and still not getting a good concept. You come back, <laughs> you come back on, and then finally Lamp Dog tells you, yeah, man, the sequence is a uh, section of bars with multiple MIDI and audio tracks, bro. You should really read the manual, man. It'll help you out. You're like, oh, okay, thanks, Lamp Dog. <laughs> Now, as far as using the MPC made, this was a really easy application to use. 
you know what I'm saying? You had to use a WAV file. I think it couldn't be no longer than four bars long, you know, and you would drag and drop it on the chop slice portion of the MPC made. And when you did that, these transient points would come up and to the right, of the MPC made, they would have a slider. And when you're moving the slider, it'll change the transient points. I think you could change it with the arrow keys and the space bar also. But basically, you're doing your chops. You're, you're assigning your chops doing that. After you're done, you press the export button and it exports everything into um, whatever folder you choose. And then all your chops are now in that folder. And in one motion, you drag and drop all the chops to the MPC made pad page where it has all the pads of your MPC and now all the pads is filled up with your samples. And from there you can basically do all the editing. You, you go through the parameters, you can put the note on, uh, the mute groups, the one shots, the monos, um, you got the filter section, you could do all the filters, the tuning, basically all the editing things that you would do on your MPC before you start sequencing your beat you could basically do in this application. After you're done, you just save it all as a program file. You save it all, you name your file. I think the name couldn't be too long because the NPCs couldn't really read long names like that. So you gotta make sure your name's a certain amount of digits, but you just name the program, save it, and just transfer it to your NPC via USB or um, a flashcard. So this was a really easy application to use. The MPC made saved some MPCs, like the 500, it saved the 500. The 500 was on life support. It was like on the gurney and they was like, clear, clear. I don't think it's gonna make it, Bob. What's the problem? There's no wave chopping. <laughs> the only way to do it is to chop by numbers. And these millennials do not want to chop by numbers. Clear, clear. And they was like, all right, well, I guess we got to put the sheets over it. Hold on, hold on. Somebody just rolled in something called an MPC made. Let's check this thing out. <laughs> I'm telling you, the MPC made saved some MPCs, man. And I really think Akai was paying attention at the time because I think this was like the predecessor of, of going to different things like the MPC Renaissance and the, you know, the MPCs that followed the Renaissance and everything like that. I think Akai was paying close attention and was realizing that combining the hardware and the software application together is the move, you know, that's where the MPC needs to go. So shout out to Surreal Montreal, the developer for making this MPC made. And shout out to the guys that made the 187, the MPC 187 or the MPC blue box. Shout out to all them guys, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. So when the made came out, as far as the price, it was around free. It was on the house. You know what I mean? So you couldn't lose. If you didn't like it, don't use it. If you like it, use it. It was free, you know, but the MPC made definitely made its imprint on MPC history. You know what I'm saying? So that's the MPC made. What had happened was, so this is your boy, Direct AKA Native Shades, reminding you to like and subscribe. And I'm signing off. <laughs>